It's fair, unfair to ask until you've had in-depth film study, mm -hmm. but I mean, top of your head, your impressions are that if you play your best, they play their best. What do you think will happen? I think we can win. Yeah. I think we can be anybody if we play our best, yeah. honestly. Um, you know, that, that, I mean, that's that's always, that's always me. Appreciate it, man. No problem. What went different for the defense in the second half there? Uh, uh, Jeff Smith, Coach Garza's maker, you know, they're nothing short of amazing. He always gives us in right positions when we need them. Um, and, you know, uh, just, just our our execution, the way we were executing calls, that, that changed. And, you know, we, we just went out there and balled out. What was that moment like whenever they're replaying <coughs> the fumble and y'all kind of had an idea that it was going your way, but those moments where you didn't know if the game was over yet? Yeah, uh, you know, you have coaches coaching you up. At the same time, you have players who are excited and everybody's on the field and all that good stuff. But you have to calm down. You have to realize the moment it can go either way. But um, you know, when I when I saw on the replay that uh, his his knee was on Trey's shoe, I, I knew it was a, it was our ball. Um, you know, you still have to keep your composure because you never know what you the effect you have on another person. And you know, if you if you get too excited or whatnot, they get too excited. And this is just a chain effect. So you have to keep your cool uh, in those situations. What makes this team different in your eyes? The way we play together, and uh, you know, like I said, I said earlier, just how, how we bring ourselves out on the football field. Um, you know, we, we we don't play like robots. We play like ourselves, um, and we, when we play our, like ourselves, we play together. Um, so everybody knows how you act, how you're gonna, you know, react during certain situations, and you know, they know how to build off of that and how to, you know, control you if they need to. Um, and all that just to say, we play like a team. We play like a complete team. Earlier this season, you jokingly said, you know, all these guys would. Now with 12 games down, I mean, why do you think that Ollie should uh, be in New York? I mean, you guys saw the game today, right? And, you know, Houston game and all that stuff. He's a he's a baller, man. Um, he's nothing short of amazing when he gets on the field. Um, and uh, you know, he he's going to continue to grow. He's only a sophomore, um, so you know, he has a lot more in his plate. But um, no, this year is a great campaign. I don't know if they're still talking about it. I hope they are. I, I am. I don't know that much, but yeah, he's he's a baller. What's it mean to see Trey do what he's doing? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, you know, it, it comes with no surprise to me. I, I enjoy watching Trey in practice, you know, and, you know, the position he gets himself in, you know, to make plays like that. Um, you know, yeah, Picky Houston and all that good stuff. You see it all uh, coming to fruition now. Um, teams are going to try and test him, and, you know, they, he, he's showing why they shouldn't do that. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm just real proud of him. Two years ago, you were in Arlington. What do you know about that game? Uh, a lot. Uh, <laughs> it was a good game. Uh, you know, but you know, we got we got we got to lock in this week. Um, yeah, I remember a lot of the.